Hello, this is Malkyrie27 here. I am using Intersect Game Engine. It's a 2D free MMORPG, but you already know this if you're here. So right now, we are working on making additional slots for your character. Item slots where you can put them. I currently spent about three and a half hours trying to get this to work. I'm not a coder, I don't know much about uh, any of this. So uh, it took me a long time and I wanted to make this video to make it a little bit quicker for all you guys out there whom, uh, whom have issues like I have. So first off, we wanted to create different, uh, different slots in different areas and here is the file that you need to open in order to do that. So how we get there is we're going to go into our section where we have Intersect downloaded. We're going to go in here. We're going to go to Client Editors. We're going to go to Resources, GUI, Layout, Game, and then we can go ahead and exit that real quick. Um, and then we'll go over here. I created a backup just file that it doesn't read. Um, I suggest creating a backup somewhere, anywhere, uh, when you're messing with coding. So I was able to, uh, to get anything that was previously there that I needed back into the code, which for me when I was messing around with it, very handy. Um, so we're going to open up the character window. This way, or here is where we have all of the stuff for your character window and all the information that you're going to need to change is pretty far down here. So it's going to have a, a bunch of settings for your equipment zero slot right here all the way down to equipment number four. So that's five items that you see, the normal five on... Um, the character sheet right here uh, which have the first test that I did was moving that around which is right here on the code which is called the bounds um, this right here is the x-axis and this right here is the y-axis the 32 um, 4 and 32 gets in the upper left hand corner of the uh, character area, so like right up here. And then each one of these squares are 32 pixels, so you can move it over by 32, and that's what you get. So what I did was we've got 32 pixels out, and then I decided to go with the next one. We moved it over since we have, or sorry, four pixels. I moved it over by four zero 40 which gave me a uh, bigger gap than what's on the left so I might move this over and make this a six you can mess around with this this is coordinates basically for putting the artwork itself into your uh, into your game and where it's going to be located so my equipment number one I kind of moved it over we've got I think this is the chess piece. I'm uncertain because I kind of moved everything around a lot. Then we have this one's down. Oh, yeah, this one's got to be the bow because it's 470, which the hat and then the bow, which I'm going to be moving all the stuff around. This is, this is temporary. I needed to make sure we got this to work. Did a lot of testing. Here's 4470. So right here we have 70, which is the y-axis when we move the y-axis over it slides along the x-axis and it will allow you to uh, keep it in line so the 70 here and the 70 here uh, and then moved it to the 44 so what that does is we have 44 here now we created like a little box so we just need a 470 um, a 4 
32, 44, 32, and 44, 70. That gets the square. Um, right now, I am working with uh, the other side. I'm going to be adding in this section here for the video so that you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. But here's a very, very important step. We have all this stuff, we're moving it around, that's all fine and dandy, but you're not going to be able to do anything, and this is what I struggled with for quite some time, because I did this, and I launched the server. You're going to want to take down your server um, when you do this too. Uh, it'll rewrite the code if you don't have anything in the correct location. So I'm going to show you how to get to the other correct location, which you're going to want to back out of here all the way back and we're going to go into server. We're going to go into resources and then right here is where we need to go is config. So we open up the config and you'll see we have equipment paper doll. Uh, I probably will do a little bit of tutorials on what paper doll is but it's basically what uh, your character has on and what it can show during the, the time um, or on the character as he moves around. So if you're making uh, pixel art, like a chess piece and stuff like that, the paper doll folder is where that's going. For me, I'm not sure exactly if this was necessary, but I did it because everything else was the same for the helmet, armor, weapon, shield, boots, which are the original pieces. So what I did was I created a class items, leggings, amulet, ring, ring, gloves. And we put that in here in this slot. And then we extended all of the pieces into uh, each paper and all section. You're going to want to do that. You're going to want to file save it. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to... So I'm going to go ahead and act as if I'm creating a new one, just like you would be. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy... Actually, I'm going to do this one because I am kind of lazy that way. So we're going to copy this one, and then we're going to go down here, we're going to hit enter, and paste. Yeah, I did it the wrong way. So, control X, that code needs to be up here, enter, paste, okay, so you need to have this up at the top. It needs to be all the same, all the way. All the way down. You're going to want to change this one to 11. And then let's go ahead and try this again the proper way. Copy. Paste. Alright, I pasted it. I have this at the top. That'll, that'll paste it down. So this should be 12. All right, so this will allow you to have it with the coordinates set up for um, the previous one that you copied over. You don't really want to have to do, uh, you don't really want to have that. So we're going to change that stuff up. But first, we want to have this notepad opened up. We need to have each slot filled. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the formula here that they're doing which is a comma, enter, tab, open quotation mark, uh, the quotation marks for the item. We can call this one, what do we want to have an item for? Let's go trinket for reasons, and then we're going to go comma, enter, tab, um, and then we'll call this one, oh wait, we'll have quotations. We're going to call this one um, focus for some reason. I'll be changing all this stuff later. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it into each section here. So, and 
the spacing doesn't matter as much because this is all just blank space decoding. It's all just so that you can um, see it better. Uh, but here is a thing that you're going to need to do is fill out the commas that were missed if you did it like I did. It's got to be acceptable code. So just make sure all of the commas are all the way down. We have everything the way that it needs to be. And then we save the file. After that, we go over to our items. We've got item 11 and item 12 that we need to work on. So uh, we have two items that are in the upper right area which I believe would be number five and four. So I'm gonna look at what it says. It says 70, which indicates that it's um, the second row down, and, and it says 176. So that is the x-axis um, and the y-axis. So let's see. If that's 70, 176, and then let's go check out the other one. Yeah, 70 and 130. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna copy this code here. And we'll bring it down. This is going to be, this is the upper right one. So let's go ahead and make this number 11. And then let's go and reduce the, uh, what was the negative that we did? I think it was 40 difference. So let's try to do that the same. And we'll turn this to, to 36. And I think all we gotta do is copy this again. We'll put this down to 12. And we change this back to 70. And that way we got the coordinates locked in. All right, so if this all works the way that it needs to work, it's going to be good. So we're gonna close off the server. I should have done this a little bit earlier. Um, exited the host. Let's close the client, make sure we have all that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that we didn't mess this up because I've done this before where I saved it when the server's on. And it looks like we do not have a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and resave this real quick just to make sure. And then we're gonna go ahead and save this file. After we have these saved, I'm gonna go ahead and open back up the server and we're gonna open back up the client. All right. So this should put two more slots in the right uh, uh, place, which they did. So that is how you add the new slots for your game. And if you want to make them actual items within the game, we'll go ahead and open up the editor. And in the editor, we go item editor. We will create new item. We'll call, yeah, we'll call this get. Uh, we'll make this uh, equipment. So now we have the trinket. Um, we can give it a kind of whatever icon we want to have for it. Uh, get your own pixel art, use the in-game current stuff. They'll have animations. You can do a lot of different stuff here within the game. We're gonna go ahead and say, this is going to up our health by 65. 
and we're going to change this to the trinket slot. So we have all of our items listed here now. But we got it to the trinket slot, and it's going to give us HP, and we are going to save it here. Then I'm going to go over to the attributes page. We're going to go item spawn, and I'm going to spawn in this item. We'll put it like right here. And we will save the map. And then let's go on over and pick that little leaf up. And we will equip said leaf. And now we have the trinket in the trinket slot. We have our class item. We've got our trinket. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of different stuff with this, like changing uh, where things are. But I'm able to have leggings, I've got an amulet, I've got rings, and I've got gloves. So like a lot of this stuff is going to change uh, locations, a lot of different things uh, can be changed that way. But this is using the default UI, you don't need to really change anything, this will add, um, what, eight additional uh, slots? which is pretty good. That's 13 items. I don't think that uh, too many items is, is like amazing. So having the ability to have um, a little bit more items is good. Uh, there's going to be a lot of customization here with the items uh, in the future. I will be doing some more videos on that. And uh, if you guys would like some pixel art demos, anything like that, how to get um, your characters so that their armor is showing when you have them equipped. So let's take that off. I have a, a, naked, a naked guy here and he's got no pants and we've got characters, oops, now we put on the shirt, now we have a shirt. Um, I don't have pants icon so I put on the pants, you can see the, the little blue pants. Uh, these right here, they're black pants. We've got a hat, it's a little bandana. Got a different chest piece. So you can make a lot of different uh, gear and stuff like that. Just using, you know, pixel art for the characters. And, you know, change your characters up, make new icons. Do all sorts of things. Um, if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.